guys, this is iTrollerIX, and once again, I am doing something a little bit different here. However, this time, it both involves LEGO and Transformers. This is Beast Hunter's Prowl, a repaint of Smokescreen. I originally had no interest in getting this figure because, well, I usually don't collect repaints, and he never showed up in the show. And then they decided to use this design for Prowl in the Transformers Universe online game. So I needed him. However, there's one big flaw that I found with this figure, and it doesn't really have anything to do with the way he looks, per se. It's the fact that he's missing his shoulder missile launchers. So, I figured out a way to give them to him without too much modification or kit bashing, and it involves Lego. So let's take a look at how I did it, I'll show you all the pieces, we'll put it together, and we'll see how it works. So this is what you're going to need as far as Lego bricks go, it's not too extensive. You're going to need some black levers, and I recommend uh, getting some black levers from newer sets. I'll explain why here in a second, but aged bricks don't work as well. You're also going to need uh, two rods. They can really be any color in this case because you won't actually be seeing these from the outside, but they are necessary for the construction. You're going to need two black cylinders and two of these red cone-shaped pieces. Now, you'll notice the end there is sealed off. Uh, it just looks a lot better that way. You can leave uh, an open hole at the front there. Um, and this is actually the only part that you need to cut. I have so many of these pieces. I get them from LEGO City sets all the time. I have an abundance and I never use them. So to make this look just a little bit better, I basically just cut the end off here and then stuck it in the end of this piece. Honestly, it looks a lot better than this piece is worth, in my opinion. Now here's the kicker. You're also going to need two of these guns from either Prowl or Beast Hunter smoke screen. Now I have two Beast Hunter smoke screens for uh, reasons. Either one of the guns works from either Prowl smoke screen or any of the other repaints. Um, now, if you do have smoke screen and Prowl, you can use their guns. However, Prowl's has a black trigger and smoke screens has a gray trigger. That might bother you, but if it doesn't, you can definitely use that as well. They're the same mold. So to put this all together, basically going to take the rods, stick those in there like that, and stick on the cone. Just like that. Now this will slide right into the end of the gun. Uh, it fits in really well. Uh, I mean, it's kind of loose, but friction holds it in and it's, it's not going to fall out unless you pull it out. So that's kind of cool. Same over here. And then the levers, oh, well, I used the wrong one. There we go. Then the levers will actually attach to the handle. Now why I say you should use newer levers is because the older ones seem to be slightly tighter. It's it's a little bit of a tighter fit. Um, and because the plastic, like I said, is aged, sometimes it'll cause this lever to, to split. So for the best results, use newer LEGO parts here. And really, that's it. There's your missile launcher. Attaching it to Prowl is the tricky part. To start things off, we're going to bring his chest piece down here, and then come to the back and bring his wings down. Now, the lever pieces are going to come through his chest, and the little ball on the end will wedge itself between the neck part and his shoulder. Do the same on the other side, so let that come through and up, so it wedges there, 
on either side of his neck. Might be a little bit hard to see because it's black on black. But then we're going to bring the neck piece up just a little bit to sort of help lock those in place before pegging it back into the chest. Now, you can see they're kind of loose back here. So, basically, locking the wings in place will make sure they don't fall out. So they'll sit on either side of the peg that the wings attach to the back with. And there you go. Prowl now has his missile launchers. And because they're on Lego levers, you got a rotation at the point where it attaches to the lever, the gun piece, uh, but it is very tight, so you're gonna have to probably take that out, turn it, and then reassemble it back in place. Uh, but because they're on Lego levers, they have this piece that goes side to side, and it also goes up and down. So you can sort of position them however you want. On the off chance, for some reason, you also had to Beast Hunter's smoke screens and have Prowl's own gun lying around. We can also upgrade that, too, with LEGO. Basically, you can take one of these little pin axles, and the plus end will fit perfectly into the plus port on the gun itself. Just like that, a very snug fit. And then this little end will peg right into this Technic piece. And there you go, it kind of looks like a little pistol with a silencer on the end. And I think this looks a lot better than the standard gun with this long missile sticking out of it. So, we can give that to Prowl as well. And he's ready to roll. In the end, this is a very simple, pretty effective, and slightly peculiar mod. However, all things considered, the requirements are pretty high. You're either gonna need two smoke screens or two prowls if you care about symmetry, and not a whole lot of people are going to want to get that just to give their Beast Hunters or Transformers Universe prowl to missile launchers. I already had two smoke screens on the off chance and figured out this mod on my own. It's pretty cool if you have the pieces to do it, but if you don't, then I guess you're going to have to decide how worth it it is to you. I think it's really cool. It's not 100% accurate, but it works. Especially since I don't think this guy is relevant enough for any third-party company to give us missile launchers or his SMGs anytime soon. So that is about it, guys. And this is IX Troll at IX, signing off.